Greetings and salutations, Mega Wizard 79 here with another episode of Toho Scarlet Curiosity. So basically, we're back in hell. <laughs> uh, basically, our current little objective is to essentially get to the top of this area so that we can basically, at the very least, either. Oopsie, wrong attack. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the cradle back on. Just, it's just so much more versatile. Um, I think I put on the wrong one. I want the. There we go, vampire cradle. Uh, but yeah, basically, we, uh, what do you call it? Um, Satar, uh, Satori, uh, basically gave us a little. Uh, what do you call it? The the master of the uh, Earth Spirit Palace uh, basically gave us a uh, little objective to try and uh, <laughs> essentially um, open the, uh, p the the lid of that kettle that basically uh, is uh, reactivating some of uh, Hell's unique features, if you will. <laughs> uh because, uh, since her pet, as she puts it, is kind of forgetful- What the hell is that? Whoa! Well then. Um, mini boss anyone? Oh, man. Okay. This suddenly got more... Okay, let's see what- There we go. Okay. All right, I think I found its Achilles heels, and there it goes. Whew! Yeah, that was new. <laughs> Actually, welcoming too, because like, you know, basically we've been fighting the same enemy types for so long. I was wondering if they were gonna mix something up, especially since we're in freaking hell of all places. This would be the ideal place to introduce something like that. So yeah, and it's like apparently this is like, and as you can see, it was just locked away in this little side area. So. I might have entirely missed it if I didn't decide to. Good thing I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah. Seriously, Chloros. How how do you? Wow. That is. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah. There we go. I wish I could read kanji. Man, so many areas. Let's see. Well, since fortunately I had the foresight to uh, stop the recording early, uh, basically that gives me the chance to actually properly explore this place. <laughs> Aren't I a smart one? <laughs> oh boy, man, this place is really big. All right, then we'll just go one by one. Uh, I don't think these areas you can just see into the bat. Yeah. All right, so I can ignore these, because... All right, so we got that one, this, and the Tory gates, because we already... Yep. All right. Um... Eh, let's go to the Tory gate first. What's the worst that can happen? Looks like a dead end anyway. Or not. Mm, I don't know. Could be a dead end for all I know. Oh! Oh, you schmuck! Oh, that... Ooh... Jerk. Okay... Wonder, can I... Yes, I can! Alright. Care of that. Well, easy. Ow! And it sends me all the way back. Oh, man, that's brutal. That is brutal. It's a good thing I can cheat like this, though. <laughs> Finally, a game that actually uh, makes use of a character's interesting feature, i.e. their ability to fly. Oh, come on! Uh, I'm bleeding money like a sieve, which, I mean, necessarily isn't a bad thing, but at the same time... I, uh, basically, there's an achievement that you can get by basically having um, 300k on you. As you can see, I'm kind of halfway there, but there we go. 
If I keep dying like that, that sure isn't going to be the case for much longer. Yeah, and these are just all health things. Mm. Rivers of blood with spikes. Mm. Oh, okay. Hello, Luna child. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> Why did this happen to me? Looks like I found another one. Hey, you. Stop your blubbering and come with me. The, the vampire! Yes, it's me. I'm here to rescue you. Huh? You are? Alright. Eh, that was really convenient. So I assume they're probably maybe behind Tory gates or something. Alright, let's check this one. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Two of these mean machines! Oh, never mind. They're not that, uh... <laughs> wow. Okay. Never mind. That was... <laughs> that was... Um... Yeah. There's really... There, there are really no words to describe that. Mediocre, I guess. Oh well. It is what it is. Oh, you... That's cheap. Boo, game designers. Boo. <laughs> yeah. Physics. Because I'm on an incline. My attacks go right over them. But not her. <laughs> okay. Let's hear. Huh. Uh, press on... Press on with courage, brave adventures, and hope shall be given to you. In uh, given on to you. All right. Just follow the straight and narrow. Just follow the straight and narrow, dear. God, I would just be terrified of this. Wow. There better be something good at the end of this. <laughs> and I hope it just ports me back after I make it to the end. I swear, if this is like one of... Yay! What is it? Ooh, victory charm. Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, wrong one. Alright. Boop. Ah. Uh, eh. Unfortunately, I mean, it's kind of cool. But... Mm. Yeah. Not that amazing, unfortunately. That's too bad. Alright, now let's see if I can, uh. Oh, crap. Yeah. Oh, boy. Alright. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. It's a good thing Remy. Uh, why do I keep. S <laughs> Sorry, it says basically Patchouli calls her Remy. So, it's a good thing that Romilia basically has perfect vampiric balance. Granted, of course, because she has wings, she shouldn't even be... She shouldn't even have to worry about falling. But then again, this is Hell, and Hell tends to just say fuck you when it comes to that sort of stuff. Interesting. That was... That felt much faster than, uh... It was before. But, oh well. We prevailed. We got the loot. It wasn't particularly good loot, and you jerk. I can't believe she got a free hit like that. Uh, but yeah, um, it wasn't particularly the best loot, but hey, it's still loot. Uh, speaking of which, let's see. Uh, hmm.
Turtle claws that possess untold vampiric power. Uh I lose a lit I lose a lot of health by doing this, but uh Let me see what do I look uh I mean, it gives me more attack power, but... Nah. I'll keep the health, to be honest. Because I, I really don't need that much attack power to begin with. I mean, I'm pretty much three-shotting everything here, so... That's fine. There you go. Alright. I assume this is the way to progress. Oh, yeah. I wonder what would happen if we didn't, uh, fi uh decide to find all the fairies. <laughs> oh, boy. Because, what do you call it? Because, technically speaking, you know, Romilia is the type of person to just do that. Like, she would just say, like, you know what? Screw you. You, you, ba you, you, you what do you call it? You, you did this to your freaking self. This is really, uh... There we go. <laughs> you know, at some point, it just... <laughs> I feel so sorry for these fairies, because... It's like, they try so hard! Like, seriously, they just do. I mean, you can clearly tell that they... That they're, they're trying! They're, 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 they're putting in the effort with their magic, and their giant lances, and big swords that they can't swing very gracefully. <laughs> How are you still alive? There we go. Alright, what's up? I mean, it's like, you know, they're, they're actually putting effort into it, and the... You know, and the fact that basically they actually back up a little bit, and then basically use the momentum of, uh, their, uh... Basically, of uh, you know, uh, of immediate propul uh, basically using the momentum that they get from going super, uh, from basically pulling back and then going forward at such an incredible speed to increase their penetrating power. So yeah, they're oh, I didn't know you could break those. Hmm, wonder if you get an achievement for that. Oh well, might as well try since uh, we know we can break them now. Oh you. Man, you are so weak! <laughs> Man, you were like super intimidating before, but like now it's like... There we go. I think that's pretty much it. Yep. All right. Man. I really hope we do get to meet Komachi. Uh, yeah, Komachi's the uh, Shinigami of the, uh, what do you call it, of the Zanzu River. Well, I mean, sorry, it's sorry. She she is a Shinigami. She she's the boatman of the Zanzu River. Um, she has an interesting little ability where basically she can actually completely and totally control the um, the distance of the river. So basically, depending on her mood, she can actually make it. She can make your trip really short or really long. Uh, what do you call it? Of course, basically, uh, it's said that basically um, most spirits. <laughs> They usually tend to, uh, they don't usually, it, what do you call it, even though they're dead, essentially, they, they just kind of never make it to the afterlife if Komachi's the one who's taking them there. <laughs> just because of the fact that, you see, uh, Komachi, she, um, how should I put this? Oh boy, she's, she's just really, hello. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh. I can literally clear the whole distance without having to worry about those things. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Komachi. Uh, basically, she's a really interesting character. Um, 
just in the fact that she basically has complete and total control over the boundaries of the Zanzu River. But the thing is, though, is that she's just, um, basically, as her boss, Enma, puts it, uh, she's just really, really, she's just, she's really, uh, kind of lazy, so to speak. Um, like, well, no, not, not lazy so much. Not entirely lazy, but just in the fact that she just doesn't, um, what do you call it? She's not very productive. Like, uh, she just really, uh, takes her time doing things. Like, uh, you know, despite the fact that she has the ability to just basically, you know, alter the perspective of the river completely. You know, so she can make it really short or really long, and it's like, it, it, it's quite fascinating how, you know, basically a simple power like that can have profound effects on a lot of things. But, uh, yeah. She's just really, uh... <laughs> like, uh, she, she, she just doesn't really... She's not very efficient with just how she handles things. So, and, uh, basically, and, uh, I mean, I mean, like, she, you know, she's just, <laughs> uh, she, you know, she, she can't necessarily do too, too much to her, uh, but she is just kind of, uh, like, uh, like, why, why do I have a subordinate like this? Like, like, seriously, like, there we go. Okay, and up, up. Uppy, up. Now, this is interesting platforming. Um, crumbs. Ouch. I don't... I really don't know. Uh, I wonder how much money it, it actually takes. Like, uh, like, I wonder what the percentages are. There we go. And let me, uh, switch that, because I don't want to go falling off the edge. So, I'll use the vampire... Actually... Yep, wrong one. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen Heartbreaker for a while. Let's use that one. Mm, I can't make it if I go that way. Let's see if by going around. Nope. Mm. Oh, this is a conundrum in its own right. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, Green sign telling me to go that way. Wow, she... Huh, I never realized just how far of a gap she can cross. Uh, yeah. Alright, green sign. Please don't betray me. Ah, here we go. Alright. Switch back to... Alright, man, this place is massive. Ah, another Tory Gate, which means that must be where our little buddy... Pretty sure it's gonna be Star Sapphire. Mm. Yeah, this place is big! Or wait, did I just... Nope, nope, this is a completely different area. Go. Wow. Yeah, this place is big. <laughs> it's, it's really, really big. Oh, there's two Tory Gates. Alright. Um, for the most part, I think I'd rather just prioritize those. Because I'm pretty sure, like, all the other stuff will just take us to dead ends that just don't really amount to much, technically speaking. Alright, that's the way I came from. And then... Alright. Ooh, more money. That's good. Alright, let's go in this way first. Uh, yep, just as I thought. It's just, uh... Which is good, at least. survive. Oh, 
Oh, you schmuck. Uh, nothing here. Yeah. It's just a room to fight schmucks in. I mean, it's good for getting XP and money, but... Mm. Alright, that's the one we came from. Right, Tory Gate. Back to side scrolling, huh? Okay. All right, that's. Oh, interesting. Ah, uh, yeah. Wow, it really takes a lot off the top, doesn't it? <laughs> Holy crumbs! Yeah, it's definitely got to be based on some kind of algorithm. Oh boy. Alright, let's see. How do I... How do I make this? There we go. Yeah, see, like... These are interesting little puzzles. Mm. Can't necessarily make it there. Alright. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I just I'm supposed to get across, like... Ah! Or not in time. Whoa! Man! There we go. Alright. Oh. They're really clever in how they're doing this. Oh! Sapphire! Oh, okay. Invisible wall. Finally! Here you are! R Romelia! You are having trouble finding your way back to the surface, I take it? Well, don't worry. I'll forgive you for your lapse in judgment earlier. So just come with me. <laughs> oh, thank goodness they don't make you do that backwards. That would, that would have sucked if they had to make you do it backwards. <laughs> I don't think you could do it backwards, actually. Alright. Next gauntlet. they pop like balloons wow uh, yeah like I said the man the range on this thing is actually much more deceptive than you think of course though, I probably shouldn't have wasted that on eh who cares though I'll make it back really quick I wish I could make my money back that quick but oh well whatever no big deal all right that way doesn't go anywhere hello the chests respawn well then that's Interesting. I mean, that has junk in it, but interesting nevertheless. Yeah, I really hope that little de- uh, I hope that demon chariot guy isn't just stuck here for this one zone. And look at that, just like I said. I got it back. In- in record time. <laughs> and there we go. Alright. Alright. Do 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 ish. 
I swear. With this much lava everywhere. We must be re- uh, we're, We must either be inside of an active volcano or- Hello! Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm guessing this is just one of those pick a side and junk. Eh. Well, I'm left handed, so I always go left. Wow. Okay. Looks like my, uh, vanity got the better of me. Uh, because then, yeah, then it's just. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so I assume I'm supposed to just. Wow, man, they are just. Mm. Okay. Ow, wow. Even touching it is. Yeah. Thank goodness I have this much health. Alright. Great at platformers, really. <laughs> I'm amazing. <laughs> Don't question me. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeesh. And Any milk? Ah! Why me? Well, it looks like you're no, uh, you're none the worse for wear. You even followed me into the underworld. What cruel darkness are you planning to unleash upon my sweet innocent self? Can the theatrics? I'm here to save you, you moron. Or would you rather, in, or, re or would you rather join the ranks of zom of the zombies? I see. So you came all the way to hell to finish me. Wait, what? <sighs> Come on, get moving. <laughs> this is everyone, right? Uh, thank you. I guess I owe you one. Why did you save me? You can thank me later. We haven't even gotten out of the blazing hell yet. It seems like my pet is finally ready. Keep going and join up with her. Oh, good timing. Let her know that we're on our way. Gallivanting didn't, uh... Uh, I assume that's where we have to go. Yeah. Okay, good. Nice and sweet. I bet we have to fight the monster, though. Because, <laughs> as she just said, her pet is quite forgetful. And, oh boy, man. Talk about an ostentatious entrance, huh? Look at this. I had a bad feeling you might be the pet she was talking about. It, it's you! I remember being told that if I ever happened upon a vampire, I was to defeat them without delay. Hmm, but why was it that I was supposed to do that anyway? Was that one of Sator uh, Satori's orders? No, it wasn't her. Um, it was this green-haired girl. You wouldn't happen 
to be talking about a shrine maiden named Sunny. Uh, uh, Sunny. Uh, Sunny. Yeah, I'll go with Sunny. Sunny, by any chance, would you? Yeah, that name does ring a bell. You three know something about this, don't you? Well. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like my decision to spring you guys out of here is already starting to pay off. Stop talking when you're supposed to be fighting me! Since you wield the power of the sun, it's fair to say you're a vampire's natural enemy. But even that won't give you the edge to beat me. Not today! Because of the sunscreen. Um, it's interesting. I've actually seen this girl's picture before, uh, but I have no idea who she is. Um, I'll be sure to basically uh, do a little research off screen and then talk about her next time. Um, I assume she's actually pretty powerful, though, just because Romilia even. Though Whoa! Yeah. Heal me, please. Yowzers. Yow! Whoa! Okay. Let's see what this does to her. Hmm. Not much. Ow. Ow. Yeesh. Ow. Health. Okay, hang on. Um... Where is it? That. And I'll put... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Okay. We'll do that. Ow. Ew. Okay. She's gonna kill me. <laughs> She's so gonna kill me. Okay, so it looks like she has some kind of... Like, let's see. Alright, so she can essentially... Ow, yeah, she killed me. Alright, round two. Let's try this again. Alright, so she has, like, a tractor beam kind of thing that, ba for the most part, like, I can't... If I get too close to her, she'll start drawing me in, and that'll be bad. So, the name of the game here is Stay the Heck Away From Her. She deals insane amount of damage here. Uh, yep, there's the Dr. Beam again, so... I just have to avoid her. There we go. Whoa! Right. Health. Ow. Alright, uh let me switch this for her more potent spell since it's been Alright. Let's see how this works on her. Alright, that's more like it. Alright. I just have to avoid... Uh... Ow! You raw reject. <laughs> yeah, this girl definitely seems like she's inspired by raw in some sense, considering the fact that, well, you know, she has the power of the sun, and she also has, like, an eye right in the middle of her chest, so it could be implying that she's... Whoa. Alright. Alright. Game over! There we go. Strong, but why were but why were we fighting again? We both.
both agree that you would open the kettle's lid if I bested you in combat, remember? Oh, I guess that's why. Okay, let me just start the preparations. As for all of you, go back to the kettle and sit on the lid. You want us to go back there? If you want to return to the surface, that's the only way up! Now get your butts over there before I forget to open it! <laughs> I assume it's probably gonna shoot us upward into the sky. Oh, I have to hand it to them. I never imagined the kettle's lid would be like an elevator that takes you up to this, con this courtyard. Uh, I I was so scared. We made it somehow. So this is the palace of the earth of earth spirits, huh? Before I return to the surface, I ought to stop in and say hello to Satori. Okie doke. So yeah. Um. All right. So. Um, I'm just gonna call it quits here for now, so please rate, comment, subscribe if you so desire, and stay tuned uh, uh, for the next episode of Toho's Scarlet Curiosity. But until that time, this is Mega Wizard 79 signing off. <laughs>